Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección. En esta lección vamos a hacer un repaso de lo que hemos estado haciendo. We're going to do a review of what we've been uh, doing so far. Um, this will be the, the wrap up for this lesson, if you will. We're going to have a quick review. We're going to hit the vocab. We're going to hit stem changing verbs and those affirmative negative words. I try to make it quick. I just want to make it an overview here. So here we go. Let's start with start with the vocabulary. We're going to go right to the flashcards, so let's just take a look at these real quick, just for a minute. Okay, I'm just going to run through these flashcards one time real quick. Uh, I won't even show the English, we'll just do the Spanish, and if you don't know what it is in English, then I'll leave it up to you to look it up. Here we go. Aprender de memoria. Oh, and maybe you should repeat it, so you get used to saying it as well. Uh, repeat it and think about what the English is. Contestar. Dar un discurso. Discutir. Explicar. Hacer una pregunta. El informe. El laboratorio. La palabra. Pedir ayuda. El proyecto. Sacar una buena nota. A tiempo. Entregar. Llegar tarde. Prestar atención. La regla. Respetar. Se prohíbe. El armario. El asiento. El carnet de identidad. La cinta adhesiva. La grapadora. Los materiales. Las tijeras. Alguien. Nadie. Conocer. Sobre. Poder. Almorzar. Costar. Dormir. These are just stem changers, not necessarily from this chapter. Entender. This one, yes, is from the chapter. Pensar. To think. Preferir. From Spanish 1. Querer. Also from Spanish 1. E to IE stem changer. Quiero. Empezar. E to IE stem changer. Pedir. We've had that before. Servir, not from this chapter, but also a stem changer, E to I. Repetir, yes, from this chapter, E to I. Repito, repites, repetir. Jugar, again, not from this chapter, but still a stem changer. Juego, juegas, juega, jugamos. And that is the end. Okay. Now that we've gone over some of the vocabulary, we want to do a quick review of some of the grammar that we've been working on. Okay? We started with stem changing verbs. Okay? Stem changing verbs. When you drop the AR, ER, IR, you're left with the stem of the verb. So if you had jugar, you drop the AR, you're left with jug, that's your stem. Stem changing verb means we change the spelling in that stem. So instead of J U G, now we're going to change it to J U E G. That's a stem changing verb. We had the verb almorzar in this chapter. You might remember almorzar means to eat lunch. So if you want to say I eat lunch, you would say almuerzo. You eat lunch, tu almorzas. Tu almorzas con tus amigos en la escuela. He, she, usted eats lunch, almuerza. El señor Martinez almuerza con el señor González. Okay? Nosotros almorzamos, we eat lunch. Almorzáis, well actually if you're in Spain I guess it's almorzáis, 
Um, we won't really have that on the test. And almuerza. Okay, you'll notice that the stem change only happens in these groups. Okay, it does not happen here nor here. So because of that reason, sometimes you hear people refer to these as boot verbs. Okay, so stem change and verbs, boot verbs is the same thing. We're having a spelling change down in those areas. Okay. A couple examples. Yo almuerzo con mis amigos. ¿Con quién almuerzas tú? ¿Con quién almuerzas tú? ¿Tú almuerzas con tus amigos también? ¿Ustedes almuerzan en la cafetería? ¿O ustedes almuerzan en McDonald's? ¿Ustedes almuerzan en un restaurante? ¿O almuerzan en casa? Yo, yo almuerzo en la sala de clases. Ok, our next stem changer for this chapter. Empezar. Empezar means, do you remember? Sure hope so. To begin or start. Okay. Empezar, to begin or to start. Yo empiezo. Yo empiezo mi tarea después de la escuela. Yo empiezo mi trabajo a las seis. Yo empiezo... Uh, uh, nah, I don't know. I'm running out of examples here. It's early. Empiezo, empiezas, empieza. Again, it's a stem changer. So... It only stem changes in these areas. The e to I E stem change. No stem change here nor here. Empezar to begin. ¿A qué hora empieza tu clase de inglés? ¿A qué hora empieza tu clase de español? Okay, that's our verb empezar to begin. ¿A qué hora empieza la escuela? Bueno, nuestra escuela, por lo general, empieza a las 8. Pero tenemos a hora, la hora a, antes de la escuela. Ok, voy a hacer entender. Entender means, hope you remember this one as well, to understand. Ok. Now some people say, Señor, I thought that was comprender. Comprender is comprehend, understand. They're, they're almost synonyms. Entender to understand. Again, it's an E to I E stem changer. So as we go down the list here, yo entiendo, I understand. Tú entiendes, you understand. Él, usted entiende, he, she, usted understands. We have to still have the normal endings, O, S, A. Entiendo, entiendes, entiende. We understand, no stem change. Vosotros entendéis, no stem change. Ellos entienden. Okay? Another boot verb. Funny looking boot, sorry. Okay, so we wanted to take a look at some examples of entender in use. No entiendo. Señor, los verbos stem changers, pues yo no entiendo. I don't understand. ¿Tú entiendes? You understand? Sí, nosotros entendemos. Ellos no entienden, pero nosotros sí entendemos. Okay, that is the verb. Entender, E to IE stem changer. Now our fourth and final verb for this chapter was a repetir, E to I. We have different types of stem changers. This one's E to I. No stem change, no stem change, E to I. Stem, good verb, stem changer. Yo repito, repito las preguntas, repito las respuestas. El profesor no quiere repetir mucho, quiere decirlo una vez. He wants to say it one time. Quiere decirlo una vez. Pero por lo general, repetimos las instrucciones a veces. Ok, eso es el verbo repetir. Repetir, to repeat. Repito. Repito otra vez. Repetir. Ok. ¿Puedes repetir la pregunta? ¿Tú puedes repetir la pregunta? Can you repeat the question? Yo repito las palabras. Las palabras. Las palabras. Las palabras. Uh, ¿Ves? Yo repito las palabras. Ok. Those were our stem changers. Uh, our next point that we had in this chapter was affirmative and negative words. Ok. These were the words like always, never, somebody, nobody, 
some, none. Okay, let's take a look at those. You see, I've lined them up side by side so that if you wanted to, you can match them up and compare. Alguien, somebody, nadie, nobody. Algo is something, nada is nothing. Now these change according to the noun that they're talking about, like algún libro, alguna silla, alguna chica, algunos chicos, ningún. And again, it operates just like we did with un and una, um, in Spanish one. Un libro, tengo uno. Una chica, unas chicas. Okay. So we use alguno when there's no noun present. You can go back and watch that lesson if you want. Siempre, always, nunca, never. También, also, tampoco, neither. Okay. Um, I will mention that you don't say I neither, so you don't um, well, we'll talk about that another day. Okay, let's look at a few examples here. Me encanta San Diego. Nosotros, blank, vamos a las playas de San Diego durante el verano. What affirmative or negative word could we put there? I love San Diego. We never go to the beaches? No. I, we, I love San Diego. We... What would it be? How do you know? Nosotros siempre. We always. Nosotros siempre vamos a las playas. Let's look at the next one. A Miguel le gustan las manzanas. A mí me gustan las manzanas. Tampoco? He likes apples, but they're pleasing to him. To me, they're pleasing neither. No. To me, they're pleasing also. What would that be? Bien. A Miguel le gustan las manzanas. A mí me gustan las manzanas también. Ok, let's check the next one. Yo no entiendo al señor Norton. Mi amigo no entiende. Look, it's a negative. When we have a negative in Spanish, remember the whole sentence is going to be negative. So we already know this is going to be off of our negative list. Yo no entiendo al señor Norton. Mi amigo no entiende. Tampoco. My friend doesn't understand either. Okay, mi amigo no entiende tampoco. Last one. Okay, now let's get to the last one. Puedes beber en blank de tus clases. Now we remember beber from Spanish one. Some people we use tomar, tomar una Coca Cola, tomar la leche. Beber, to drink, like beverage. Puedes beber in blank of your classes? Well, let's go through that list. Can you drink in always of your classes? No, that doesn't make sense. Can you drink neither of your, no. Okay, can you drink in some of your classes? That would work. Okay, how would you say, can you drink in some of your classes? Puedes beber en, now remember some, is that algún word, okay? But we've got to adjust it tus clases. Is it la clase, el clase? Puedes beber en algún what? Algunas would be correct. Puedes beber en algunas de tus clases, in some of your classes? Bueno, en todas las clases, no. En algunas de las clases, no sé, quizás agua. Puedes beber, puedes beber agua en algunas de tus clases? Ok. Muy bien. So, chicos, ese es el repaso de la lección, de la unidad, del capítulo. I uh, hope you do well on, uh, on the test, and um, buena suerte. Oh, I do want to mention one thing to you. Uh, those of you that are my students, I'm going to give you a little heads up. There is going to be some crédito extra en el examen. If you look on page 25, there's some información sobre José Martí. José Martí es una fig figura muy interesante de Cuba. Entonces, lee, um, lee de José Martí, uh, busca la información de él, busca Cuba en el mapa, y ¿sabes cuál es la capital de Cuba? Cuba es un país súper interesante. Bueno, eso es todo por ahora. 
Um, vamos a hablar otro día. Chao.